Chef here. So it's fall and with fall come squashes. We've got all kinds of really good squashes. Yeah, I know you know how to cook some of these and if you don't, there's recipes on this channel. Anyway, this is the one I'm focusing on today. This is a green and white winter squash. Some call it an Indian squash, but there's a few different names uh, to go by with this one. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like the uh, size, the shape, the stem, everything. So real quickly moving along, uh, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to seed it and then I'm going to cook it. I normally try to bust the stem off. If it comes right off, you're good. If it doesn't, you can use a cleaver or a large knife. Uh, I'm going to be rocking this uh, titanium knife because nothing sticks to it. And I'm just going to use my hand and... Uh, Wow! Cut it right down the middle. Uh-huh. It's a tough squash, let me tell you. It's got a little strength to it. Uh-huh. Alright. Wow. We'll get through there. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's what we got inside, looking really, really nice. Now, uh, just a little grower's tip, farmer taught me how to save the seeds. So we're going to scoop out the insides, and we're going to take these larger seeds, the nice ones, and we're going to put them on cardboard to dry. Uh, any seeds that are cut in half or broken like these we're just going to discard these but these nice bigger seeds we're going to save these so we can grow them uh, another at another time you can also sh do a seed sharing and give some of these away swap or trade or give to your neighbor oh a large spoon will help you remove the seeds taking very uh, gentle care not to remove too much of the flesh. You can see how many seeds I got from this squash. Quite a few. Yeah. Looking really good. Now this is ready for preparation. Uh, follow along and I'm going to give you a quick recipe. Okay, I've got this squash and the uh, easiest thing to do is cut it into uh, portion sized pieces. You have to decide if this is going to be two or three or four. I think I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do four pieces out of each now three pieces out of each one of these because I want to make sure some of my ingredients stay inside. So for that, we're just going to put the knife through. Got to put a little muscle into it like this. Okay. There we go. One, two, three even pieces. Yeah, and I'm going to repeat with the other half. Okay, the squash are cut into nice even pieces. And now I'm going to line them up in a roasting pan. like this. I want each piece to stand up. It's just gonna fit. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to put a few different ingredients on there, starting with uh, some Hawaiian smoked sea salt. Add a little smoky salty taste. Uh-huh. Some fresh ground black pepper. Uh-huh. Uh, garlic. I've got just two cloves that I'm going to divide up here. So what I'm going to do is uh, smash it with my knife. off camera here. Gotta move my stuff around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna smash it with the knife just like this. 
both pieces. I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit. Okay, I mentioned this knife. Uh, you can learn more about it at the sponsor. Nothing sticks to it. It's pretty cool. It's it's uh, titanium. It's made in Japan. I really really like it. And I believe in buying the best stuff and making it last. This knife has been used by many chefs, and I think uh, this one here is about 10 years old. It's still going. We use fine Japanese water stones on the edge, and we're very careful. We use the guide clips. Uh, check out the sponsor. You can find all that good stuff there. Okay, the garlic's getting divided evenly amongst the squash, and same with uh, butter. I'm going to be using a little bit of butter. I don't use very much butter in my cooking because it's probably not the healthiest thing for you. I prefer olive oil. However, a nice squash deserves a little bit of butter. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, just putting a piece or two on each one of these. Like this. Got a little bit left. I'll go with the biggest ones here. Okay, butter goes on. The next thing, oh, even the butter doesn't stick to the knife. I like it. The next thing we're going to do is just a small sprinkling of uh, uh, Vietnamese cinnamon. Just a little bit of cinnamon across each one of these. Give it a little bit more flavor. And of course, brown sugar. I'm going to pack a little chunk of brown sugar on each one of these. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot. If you ever run out of brown sugar for a recipe like this, no big deal. Switch to regular sugar. Okay, so now we're looking good. Uh, I do want to make sure that this browns nicely. So I got a little bit of uh, truffle oil here. Let's put a little truffle oil across this and we want to ensure that it browns nice. Uh, release a little more flavor. Yeah. Plus that truffle, mmm, it's going to be good. This is ready to go. I'm going to roast this in the oven at 375. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, the finished roasted squash looking really good. By the way, it took about an hour and I'm going to put one more thing on there and that is some of this awesome uh, Madagascar vanilla. I'm just going to put a few drops across each one of these squash. It's going to give it a little more complex flavor, a little more uh, desired uh, effect of uh, all different sweet goodness, awesome flavor uh, throughout. So I'll show you a close-up here of just one piece of this squash. There we go. Looking really good. It's nice and soft. It's juicy. It's looking really, really good. I should probably put one of them on a plate. All right. It's looking pretty good. I want to just how soft it is like I said this took about an hour probably could cook a little bit more but looks good nice and juicy mmm wow it's delicious Reminds me of acorn squash. Beautiful, tasty, I enjoyed it. So next time you're uh, out and about around the farms, try to find one of these awesome squashes. Uh, they go by various names and uh, just look for the green and white round shape. Check out our other videos right there. Subscribe. Get cooking and have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good.
Be right back to play this up. Right down here, more recipes to come. Don't forget to check out Chef's Butcher Blocks. Oh yeah, get cooking and have a great day. Ah, time for a little snack break. This is a date nut ball, and you can find the recipe on this channel. Just search date or dates, and you're gonna get it. Wow, this one's stuffed with some fruit. Looks pretty good, right? Mmm. Delicious. Subscribe right down there. Check out some of the other recipes. Yeah. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, many styles, all made in the USA. Countertops, walnut, oak, maple, cherry, all sizes, contact sponsor. Get the chef's cut proof glove. Save your fingers. No more cuts. Chef tested, chef proven. Follow the link. Get cooking today. Ah, the blocks preferred by chefs on sale with free shipping.
professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, many styles, all made in the USA. Countertops, walnut, oak, maple, cherry, all sizes, contact sponsor.